I would have almost 7x'd my money for about a $6,000 profit, but instead I sold out back in March for a measly 40% gain. Hey business warriors, and in this video I want to talk about my biggest investment mistake of 2020, all right? Because in these videos we often talk about how we made a load of money on things, like how I got close to a 600% return on my Tesla stock. Look, there's a screenshot for my brokerage account. It gets a little complicated because of the stock split, but uh, I basically spent $1,000 buying Tesla stock. Uh, you can see $5,000 in realized gains, plus I have three more shares still in my account valued at $1,200. So together we get to around 500 to 600% return. And I'm currently using that money combined with some other money I made in the stock market this year to buy a piece of land and develop it. More about that business venture to come in future videos. But today we are talking about the painful times, missing out on the opportunity to be up huge in the stock market. And for me, that stock is Zoom, ticker symbol ZM. Now I'm sure you all know what Zoom is. Of course, it's a video conferencing software. It's used almost universally now. It's super common. It's overtaken all the other options like Skype and GoToMeeting and all those other things. Um, so it's the most popular video conferencing software. Now I buy companies that I believe in. And when Zoom IPO'd last year, okay, it's only been on the market for a year. Um, it was actually profitable, which is rare in the tech IPO space. Now I bought a little under $1,000 worth of the stock back in spring 2019, valued at around $77 per share. And I basically didn't really do anything with the stock for the rest of the year. Didn't really think about it. It went up, it went down, it went up a little bit. Now fast forward to the end of 2019, beginning of 2020. and. I started getting a little bit suspicious about the security of the Zoom platform, particularly in regards to data transmission through China. The CEO of Zoom, Eric Yuan, was born in China and only moved to the US aged 27, which in my mind makes him far more connected with China than someone who is Chinese but was born in the US or moved to the US when they were very young. Now, Eric Yuan and his company Zoom rely on Chinese coders in mainland China for developing their software, right? Their R&D is there, even though they are developing a platform for the US and global market. Now, it doesn't take a genius to realize that if the Chinese Communist Party wanted to be able to hack into Zoom, all they'd need to do was to get one of their people working for Eric's company in China for his R&D department uh, to slip in some code into the software and bam, they've got a back door to get in and they can basically access anything. So even though I felt that they had a really solid business model, I started to think that there might be some Huawei type risk there of Zoom just getting shut out of the US market. And I also have a personal dislike of the Chinese Communist Party, their human rights record, etc. So I decided to look for an exit strategy. Now when the coronavirus hit China in early 2020, because Wuhan and a lot of other cities were locked down, a lot of people in China started using Zoom and it started getting really popular. The stock price shot up. When it got to $107, I decided to sell, locking in about a 40% gain. Not bad for a stock that I wanted to get out of anyway, or at least that's what I thought. But I never counted on the coronavirus actually coming to the West in any big way and governments, you know, taking these highly questionable measures such as lockdowns, offices closing, restrictions on gatherings of people, quarantine periods if you want to travel to a different country or a different state, all that kind of stuff. I thought that would just be combined to China and could never happen in the West. I've lived through SARS, through swine flu. This has never happened before. So it seemed like a totally unrealistic thing that could happen. But I was wrong and it did happen. And Zoom's stock price soared with the current price for one share being $565. In other words, those 12 shares that I bought for about $1,000 would be worth $6,780 today. I would have almost 7x'd my money for about a $6,000 profit, but instead I sold out back in March for a measly 40% gain. Do I regret selling? Well, not really. You see, investing in the stock market, it's not like gambling. It's not like you do the lottery every week and then you miss one week and your numbers come up and you would have won the jackpot. It's not really like that. It's about managing your exposure and risk and no one really knows what's going to happen. I chose to take profits back in March because I felt that uh, perhaps the stock was approaching a peak with the coronavirus situation in China maybe dying down and I didn't realize it was gonna come to the West. 
And then in addition to that, I wanted to be out of the stock anyway, and there was also the risk of a Huawei type security situation and the risk of it being locked out of the US market. Now, even though I was wrong, I did lock in some gains. And at the same time, I also picked another winner, Tesla, which gave me approximately a 600% gain as well. And a lot of the other stocks I bought during the trough of the market back in March and April um, are now starting to come up. I'll put a few of those on screen. TPR, for example, which owns Coach and Kate Spade. Then we have Delta Airlines, then we have Skyworks Solutions. I really haven't had any losers this year, and this is thanks to a conservative attitude. I would prefer to have steady gains rather than the possibility of having a huge jackpot, but also the possibility of losing a load of money. When you play the lottery, you don't really stand to lose anything. All you lose would be the price of the ticket. Whereas in the stock market, you actually have your money invested and you could lose a large portion of it. So I think this story demonstrates how you have to emotionally distance yourself from the market and just go with the strategy. I've still made a lot of money in the stock market this year thanks to a sound overall strategy. So I hope this inspires you not to have a gambling attitude and not to feel bad if a stock that you've already sold out of and taken profits on suddenly goes up huge, all right? There will always be more companies and as long as you have a sound overall strategy that delivers consistent profits, actually that is more desirable than getting a sort of huge payday by chance. Guys, leave your thoughts below, share your stories as well. Has this happened to you with any stocks? I'd love to hear about your successes and your failures. Please subscribe if you're new and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.